Hey, this is Harold from Giant Loop, and we're checking out the new KTM 390 Adventure. Our friend Kathy dropped it off, dropped it off with us today uh, so we could check it out, fit some luggage on it. She just picked it up brand new. She's super psyched. Um, so this is another configuration that I, I've set up just to kind of uh, show some different options. So um, essentially all three of our horseshoe-shaped saddlebags are gonna work really great on this bike with no luggage racks required, no real mod modifications required. So uh, the Great Basin works great if you uh, carry a lot of gear or out for a longer haul. Um, Mojave's perfect for a day of riding. I think that the Coyote is, might be the gold, Goldilocks solution for this particular bike. It's, it's just really well proportioned to the 390. Um, basically 40 liters of packable volume. You can also extend the volume, of course, by adding our Postles pouches, the new first aid Postles pouch would be a nice addition here, um, strapped onto the legs of the saddlebag. Um, our dry bags are designed to integrate right into the compression strap, so you could easily add a Rogue uh, dry bag to expand the uh, capacity a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I just really like that nice tight trim fit. Um, even with the humongous grab handles on here, um, you know, you, you still, uh, because the bag conforms here, you get a very tidy, uh, nice fit on this bike. Um, so we've fit all of our tank bags on here. They all work great. The Diablo, um, maybe my personal favorite, just in terms of its um, proportions to the bike. Again, buck and roll's great for minimalist solution. Um, here's the Fandango, and you know, even though the Fandango, uh, you know, by our standards is large, by most tank bag standards, it's super trim, and so even on a nice compact uh, machine like this, it, it really um, uh, doesn't overwhelm the bike and gives you eight liters, which is plenty to pack a drone, camera equipment, uh, hydration bladder, you know, what have you. Uh, and once again, you know, easiest access to fuel fill of like any tank bag out there you just unzip to the corner flop it over fill up when you're done you zip it back up again um fandango tank bag um of course the zigzag you know we put one of these on each of our bikes and it just basically lives on the bike um so we always have a place to put wallet keys registration insurance card all that stuff um once again if you're headed out into wet muddy brushy, cold conditions, you know, these Bushwhackers hand guards are hand savers. Um, they strap on when you need them in just a few seconds over top of the stock rigid deflectors. Heated grips work better, hands and controls stay warm, dry, um, clean in the mud, protected from brush. Um, and when you don't need them, they just pop off in a couple seconds. Um, they attach with our new pronghorn straps here. Uh, so really great piece of kit um, in the new, uh, one of the two new styles that we've just come out with. This is the trees graphic. And we also have this cool uh, topo map design. So that, this would be, for me, this would be a perfect setup for a weekend, even up to a week or more if you uh, just extended, uh, you know, our modular packing system to include some external pockets, a dry bag. Um, possible pouches would fit um, right on these stock engine guards and of course the pannier pockets fit right here in this zone and integrate right into the tank bag harness um, like they were designed specifically for it you just loop around the little horn here and pull tension against it and and you're golden so that's the ktm 390 adventure um kitted out with a go light go fast go far solution. Thanks for riding with Giant Loop. See you on the trail.